Hey guys, it's Sankan again here, bringing you another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you something a little bit special. This is something that I've been working on for the past couple of days, and well, it counts the level of the player. Now, I'm just going to take it through a couple of tests with you guys, and then I'll go over um, some of the things that actually made this a reality, and finally, we'll just end the video. Right, so the first test that we're going to do is the test where we actually have no levels. Okay, so we're just going to walk blindingly into this uh, little thing here. And how many levels do we have? We have zero. Now, they, these um, the numbers are actually displayed in binary, yet you, will, you could convert them into decimal and then put them onto a display. Um, but for this demonstration, I've just left them in binary, because then you can do more stuff with them later on, like you can sort them and stuff like that. Right, but this time, we're going to give ourselves three levels. Right, so let's try this again. Right, so we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, and that's the binary representation of 3. Now let's try 15. And now you see we have 0, 1, 1, 1, 1 which is the binary representation for 15. The final um, amount that we're going to do, now we can do any amount between 3 and 15 or whatever, but I'm just going to go ahead and do 31, and then we're going to go back to 0. Right, so we're here at the top again, uh, let's get ready to do 31. Right, so 11111, binary representation of 31. And that took about 12 seconds, so 12 seconds for 31 levels. So we're getting probably about um, half a number, no, sorry, one number every half second. First of all, I'd like to thank Jeremy G um, from the RDF because. This is his uh, binary counter design. I'm not sure if it is specifically his, but it's one that he showed me. And the design for my level counter couldn't have been done without this uh, counter. Eventually, I'm going to try and get this, um, my actual level counter, up to the maximum speed. And this is where this design of counter will truly flourish. Now, of course, this could not have been done without the new command block. So that's something else that I want to quickly go over. Um, every time it goes through a, s a complete cycle um, on the counter, it will try and TP a player of level 0 to the location inside there. It will also subtract one level from the person who is currently in the booth here. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this invention, and I hope some of you use it in your uh, custom maps. Just to give you an idea of what this can be used for, imagine this, you're going through an adventure map, and every si single time you complete an objective, you get another level. When you complete the whole map, you go into one of these counters, and then it counts up all your levels, and then it gives, it sort of ranks you with your score. So say I got 15 levels, this would mean that I would become, in the eyes of this adventure map, a peasant. Now say I got 30 levels, now I'm a warrior. And say I got 100 levels from completing every task in this adventure map, I, w I could be classed as a god. And maybe get like another bonus sneak peek at something for the future. You know, just for those sort of hardcore players.
So anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've certainly enjoyed making this creation. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and share it around. Tell people of this awesome, awesome device and how they should use it in all their maps because it's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah guys, just do whatever you want to do and um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh wow. Didn't mean to do that.